So I think it's common knowledge at this point that we're seeing a strong real estate market across the country right now. So my question to you as a buyer or a seller is, what are you waiting for? Are you trying to time the market? Because if you are, if you didn't already know, you're never gonna buy at the bottom and you're never gonna sell at the top. Yeah, there are people that technically, yes, they sell at the top and buy the bottom, but they just got lucky, all right? So I'm making this video for you today to help you get off the fence no matter which side you find yourself on. All right, the beginning of this video may have sounded a little bit harsh, but I'm being serious. What are you waiting for? If you're not participating in this market, why? I mean, besides the fact that you may have already bought something or sold a home or live in your dream home that you know you're gonna be in forever, what's holding you back from entering this market that's giving us the lowest rates we're likely ever gonna see on a product that's going up in value because it's becoming more and more scarce? I mean, this isn't like Dogecoin where you got a bazillion of them and the value's going up because of a funny tweet from Snoop Dogg or Elon Musk. I mean, this is arguably the greatest commodity we have in this country, real estate, that's becoming harder and harder to find. So I get the worry as a buyer. Nobody wants to be that one that purchased the home at the top of the market. And if that is your concern, well, there's two things that I do want to share with you if you are that buyer. So on a personal note, I can tell you from having bought and sold eight properties in the past six years, my fear of downside risk has completely changed. And the reason is the ones that I was the most worried about losing money on ended up being the ones that appreciated the most after I had sold them. So now I'm forced to drive by these properties on a daily basis, see for sale signs on them, and notice that there's a large margin that I left on the table that's now being absorbed by somebody else. So it takes me back to when I was going through this and you know I had these, these fears of, of losing money on properties to where my father told me, Steve, you don't overpay for properties, but you know sometimes you just bought them too early. And you know what, I look back on it and it's true. If I just held these properties and was not so worried about, hey, whether I bought them at the bottom or selling at the top, well, then I would have made a larger margin. And I'm not telling you to just be frivolous and pay whatever for properties, but you know what I am saying is as long as you're doing your due diligence, it's gonna be very hard to lose in the long run when buying real estate. So sellers, I run into issues all the time with people who are also trying to time the market as sellers and say, you know what, I'm gonna wait for it to go higher. I'm gonna wait for it to go higher. And you know what, I'll tell you what, over the past decade, I've got multiple sellers that didn't sell the first time. They waited for the market to go up, then it started coming down. They didn't sell the second time. And they've missed all these opportunities in which they could have gotten great money on the house for sale and also purchased fantastic properties that would have yielded better returns. So, you know, just sitting on the sidelines, trying to be the one that's waiting for the market to go up, go up, go up. Remember, if you're going to sell in order to buy something else, it's never gonna be perfect. You're gonna find that market where the seller's market's so hot, it's very difficult for you as a buyer. So at some point in time, you gotta take advantage. Uh, we'll market the property so it's the best thing out there and then also put you in advantage as a buyer. If you're cashing out, same thing. Even if you're just putting cash on the sidelines, to be the one that sold at the top is nearly impossible. So you have to get that out of your head. You just gotta know that if you don't sell this time around, you're gonna have to wait for another market cycle. So does that make sense for you? Maybe it does, but if it doesn't, I mean, you're gonna have to pull the trigger. You know, as long as the numbers are making sense, what are you waiting for? But don't get me wrong, there's definitely risks associated with buying or selling anything. And in this case, we're talking about something that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars. So one of my most trusted references in real estate pointed something out to me. He said, Steve, if you notice and you track the history of the real estate market, you'll see that downtrends usually last about half as long as uptrends. So that's something that you need to think about for yourself as a buyer or seller. And so when you look at it that way, it's impossible to find another asset class that's had such repeatable success like real estate. So this video today was short and sweet, and the goal was to give you confidence whether you're a buyer or seller. But there's one last important thing that I need to share with you. Strategy is key. With something like real estate that has so much wealth creation opportunity, if you're not working with somebody that clearly puts you in an advantage, you're leaving a lot of opportunity on the table. So if you're a seller that's worked with me before, you know. I spend a lot of time ensuring that we are properly positioning ourselves in the market to yield the highest rate of return possible. If you're a buyer, well then you also know, I spend a lot of time analyzing market data. And when it comes time to placing an offer on a property, we go even higher level and break down that analyzation even more 
to make sure that you're placing the right offer on that home. So whether you're a buyer or seller, feel free to reach out to me. You know you're never gonna get a rushed answer. I'm always gonna take the time to make sure that I'm giving you proper advice and helping you position yourself to outpace the market whether you're a buyer or seller. So I hope this was helpful for you today. Feel free to call, text, or email. Thank you again for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.